Hey y'all, welcome to this video. It's Blake and today we're doing some hair. Some of you guys probably remember like 2019. I did like a lot of clip-in styles. I worked with a company called Melange Hair. I sat them down for a minute because I was just mainly interested in doing my own hair. But right now, I feel like I want to do some clip-ins. So today, I have a whole bag of clip-ins and I'm going to be trying to bring these things back to life. Because when I say they've been sitting in a closet at the bottom, I'm going to be reviving them, detangling them, doing some maintenance today and trying to get these back to usable if y'all have been here since 2019 i did like a get ready with me and i was going to the fair and i want i like had wand curls with these clip-ins in and these are the exact same wand curls since then a year and a half ago i had like just took them out and didn't touch them again they still have the wand curls from 2018 and then even before that i did another i did another get ready with me i was going to a concert i was going to see Coda the friend and i had the shorter ones in and i had the hair paint wax yeah that's these same hair paint wax from 2019. i know for a fact these are all melange clip-ins and i had two different sets one was a 18 inch they're both coil curl and they were like this is such a bad representation because they've just they're like so tangled but uh they were like a coil curl this one was like 18 inches i might have cut a little bit off of it one was 18 inches and then one was an a coil curl ultra set 22 inches so i just want to get these back to usable you know so i can incorporate them you know like whenever i want to do a hairstyle do like a little pony you know just have some more versatility that's the air let's go ahead and get into it so we're at the kitchen sink and i'm going to be using aussie three minute miracle deep conditioner and for detangling and emerges sulfate free shampoo so i'm going to start with the 18 inch ones that i have the hair paint wax on the hair paint wax comes out easily well just with shampoo i'm really just trying to see how i'm going to do this so this is kind of like my test um strand rinsing it under warm water and trying to like kind of split up the hair with my fingers get like a little finger detangling happening and then i'm just taking pumps of the deep conditioner so i can like run my fingers through it you know start separating it and encouraging it to detangle you know and then i'm gonna go in with the brush this is a brush from the beauty supply so this is me detangling it in real time and i just wanted y'all to like hear it and see it and <laughs> kind of get a real representation of how it is detangling them so this is just kind of what it sounds like crazy looking back is that Shelly was obviously the one mm -hmm. who was sending them to each of you. So she had like a collection of photos of you and she had a collection of photos yeah. of Chris. So we never even were sending it to each other. And then I ended up getting a friend request from this guy, Tom. He told me he was best friends with Chris. So as you can see, I'm going from the ends to the top and just going in with the brush i will say so this is when i realized it kind of detangled faster than i thought the brush and the in the deep conditioner are really helpful i know this brush has helped me with my own hair detangling so i wasn't surprised that it kind of helped get through these clip-ins and it detangled and that was it and then i just went in and shampooed got it clean so you know clean any of the old products that were on it and then i put conditioner on again just to balance it out and make it soft
So now I'm gonna try the set that was blow dried. I didn't really know what to expect because you know I put heat on it, I blow dry and wand curled them. So right now I'm just separating with my fingers under the warm water, just trying to get it saturated. And I, like I said, I'm using the deep conditioner just to encourage it to detangle and so I can like kind of run my fingers through it and it gives it more slip. So I think that was very helpful before shampooing, just using some conditioner. It doesn't necessarily have to be this con deep conditioner, it can be the regular conditioner, but I highly recommend this deep conditioner and just getting my fingers and running it through. Then I went in with shampoo and then detangled with the deep conditioner so after this this was just my first um, testing it out after this I ran my ran it under the hot water got it saturated and shampooed it first and then I would apply the deep conditioner and detangle and then that was it so I didn't have to do the conditioner twice so I just applied after shampooing I applied the deep conditioner and I'm going in with the brush to detangle again starting from the ends and working my way up brush glides through and pretty much no time it really wasn't as bad as I expected it to be and as you can see everything's detangled and then I just rinsed that out I repeated these steps um, shampoo and detangling to the rest of the clip-ins and it took me about an hour to get through one set and so it was about two hours to finish all of them So this is how much shedding that I got from about one set of clip-ins. I don't know if this is a lot or a little. I don't work with a lot of hair or curly hair, but that's how much I got. And that is it. I have finished shampooing and detangling. Hold on, let me grab all of them. All of my clip-ins, they look so much better. They're shiny and curly. So. As you can see, all the hair paint wax comes out. If you never use hair paint wax, it's just like a temporary color. And all of that comes out. It stains the top slightly, but uh, the top of the like wefts, you can see just a little bit. But other than that, it's fine. Uh, right now, these have nothing on them because I'm probably gonna end up coloring them. Uh, so I just want them to be clean, but they just were shampooed and you know conditioned with 
uh, the deep con Aussie deep conditioner so they look really good they feel really good these are so curly and these are the ones that were blow-dried and they're ultra uh, the ultra set and they reverted back nicely the detangling process went a little way smoother than I thought like when I went to wash them once before a few years ago it was like a struggle for me and at the time I didn't know as much as I do now and I probably didn't use like I didn't have as much knowledge about products so this time around I knew exactly what I really needed I needed a, I needed in the process that I needed to do it so you guys saw me deep condition or just use a conditioner to detangle which is what I would do on my normal hair like if it's really tangly before I put shampoo on it you have to detangle so um, if you don't know already Aussie's three minute miracle deep conditioners are really really great for hair on your head and not any natural hair and like detangling the slip is out of this world and it, it really made this process super easy I think because the other time that I did it it was like a nightmare like I just had did everything wrong and I think it's just because of how I was doing it this conditioner it's a deep conditioner um, paired with this brush this brush is also something that I think really helped me I probably was using a comb that other time like I can I, I, I don't know <laughs> but this is a brush I can't I know this is like a style of brush that was originated by something but I got this from the beauty supply um, and it's like the flexible one and I I've been using this on my natural hair for months now. I think I got this last year and it's like changed my life. I do not have detangling problems anymore. So I think this was also, these two things really just saved the day and uh, they're both inexpensive. This is like $5 and I think this is about the same, three, four, five dollars um, So they're really inexpensive. Fact that it like moves, I think helps with detangling. I'm not really sure. And then it has just like the straight bristles. Um, it comes with an attachment where you can keep it stiff but I like to have it open and detangling just I don't know what it is but it's really great and I use just a uh, emerges sulfate free shampoo it's very liquidy it just gets in there so <laughs> so yeah you guys just have to stay tuned to see what I'm gonna be doing with these what I'm gonna be doing next with my hair I'm taking my hair down as soon as I finish filming this it's a hair day it's the next day by the way I started this video yesterday I want to show you guys how to maintain your clippings because I've never done that before and honestly it's because back then I didn't know how I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see y'all in the next one bye I'm doing my hair I'm changing it up what do y'all think I'm gonna do it's time to take these down though I didn't even do my edges or anything